hello we uh, have this laptop here no i'm kidding i don't do laptops here this is the wrong channel you want to go to the learn electronics channel to learn laptop repairs we don't do laptop repairs sometimes i do laptop repairs when i'm really bored but i have too much work i cannot afford to do laptops anymore or at least not now hey so we're gonna be repairing this gpu i think it's a gigabyte eagle you know it's the eagle that that flies over your chicken coop and stealing your chickens eh yeah anyway let's check the well we'll put the commotometer say hello to my little friend yeah and we're gonna check and no short there do we have a short here no short okay what does mean does mean um that no short no short over there so let's let's power this thing let's see maybe don't need no repair huh okay i'm gonna flip the switch and and look look we don't have we don't have any current there's no current that's being drawn by the by the say hello to my little friend 2.0 so it it has it draws no current and why that is i don't know and that's perfect so let's take this thing apart and uh, figure out what's wrong with it eh? maybe we can fix it i don't know so sometimes i like to take a bigger screwdriver and i and i come in there like this it makes it easier we don't want to be working too hard in here no and then we'll remove these screws and there was a big sticker here on the back i don't know where it came from oh and i just noticed i don't know if you you must have missed it because i've missed it one second let me get the back cover off this cover is plastic which is not very good but whatever so what i'm seeing is somebody let me zoom in so you can see some looks like somebody tried to fix these capacitors here we have some rip traces and these gold plate fingers looks like somebody had um accident that dropped some solder in wickham and now we have no more gold plating so that's a effective way to remove gold plating is to apply solder and wick it you're not necessarily removing gold plating you're just covering it up with the solder i think i, I don't know okay so let's see let's bring in the say hello to my little friend 2.0 again and uh, we're gonna put this thing on the stand so that it can stand otherwise it cannot stand and i cannot stand it when it cannot stand neither does your wife i didn't say that that was a joke i'm a funny guy uh -huh. <laughs> okay let's try again let's see what this thing do okay so we flip the switch and it draws 0 0.1 amp what does this mean this means that something on this board is not working and we need to find out what that is so I'm going to put this probe into here. And the first thing I want to check is, do we have 5 volt? Yes, right there, we have 5 volts there. Do we have 1.8 somewhere? This is probably PEX. 
this is probably five volt here yes memory nothing there's 12 there's nothing here but i don't know what this is okay do we do does this card even have 1.8 3.3 Zero. Okay, so this is AMD. Okay, I forgot. So we're looking, we're looking for 1.8 volt. All right, so why do we not have, I kind of wonder, is this 1.8 volt? If this is 12, why isn't this 1.8? And this one's, dri this one's driving by MOSFET. So it's not likely to be 1.8, but we can check for resistances and see what, see if we can get any better idea of what is what. So let's see. 39 ohms, I have no idea what could that possibly be. 29 ohms, uh, this looks like it may be memory. 38 ohms, no idea. This is 12. I think this is the SOC, and then the rest of them are probably GFX. Another, another fuse here. Let's check. Fuse is okay. And this fuse okay? Yes, this fuse is okay. So what is it that we're missing? What do we miss? I don't know. Let's look at, uh, let's see if we can have a board view and find out uh, what we missed. Actually, actually, let me, um, let me look at the thermal camera and see maybe we can find something there that will tell us exactly what's wrong with this GPU. Hey, okay. okay. So I don't really see anything that's getting hot okay so basically i don't see anything wrong in here anywhere this is probably memory i don't know or the memory is right here i don't i'm not sure this is five volt this one this one works and uh, the 12 volt also works so let's slip over to the other side and start looking over there. Let's look at from the bottom first. So this looks okay. A little bit of concern in this area here. We'll remove this sticker. We don't need it. Stickers are evil. So let's continue working on. Uh huh. Another fuse. Let's let's. Take the multimeter and check that fuse. And the fuse is okay. Okay. Let's continue looking around for anything that's not looking good. Such as myself. So I don't know what's missing. Uh, and I need to know what's missing. I need to know the power sequence of the AMD GPU. So let's go look at the power sequence. Okay, so here is the power sequence, and um, we know we have 3.3 on one diffuses, and that's because it comes from the PCI Express slot. Then we do have 5 volt, and then the next one will be 1.8, and then 0 0.75. So we're missing 1.8, but I don't know which one is 1.8. So I found this board view here. I don't know if this is the same. And uh, what is this coil here? Uh, this is uh, 0 0.75. So this would be the next thing on the list. Uh, we need to find uh, we need to find the first thing on the list, which is 1.8. But where is 1.8? I don't know. Okay, so this is a VDD memory. This is uh, an VDDCI memory. Okay, so this is two memory coils over here. Then this one was the SOC. 
and the GFX. Okay, so what is 1.8? What is 1.8? So we should have a capacitor. Where's 1.8? I want to know what generates the 1.8 circuit. What is this? 1.8 plus 1.8 power wood. So this I see here, which is on the back, supposed to be generating 1.8 volt. So let's, well, that's a power good. What is 1.8, 1.8 enable? Where does the enable come from? Oh, it comes from all over the place. A resistor unknown value enable I don't know what is this diode this diode comes from a reset enable what is this zero ohm reset enable I don't know I'm not too familiar with this thing Let's continue looking and I'm guessing, so I'm guessing the uh, enable, the 1.8 volt I see is actually here on the back of this board right there. So let's see if we have 1.8 volt on the output of this chip and maybe we can fix it. Or maybe not. I don't know. Okay. I don't think this matters. All right. So we are in focus. Let's uh, test for the. Let's test for the voltage and the continuity. Well, actually, let's check for resistance on the 1.8 volt rail. I think that would be it. Let me double check. Let me double check. Yes. And the power good would be pin number one. So the output would be here. This would be the output. And the power good would be here. And the power good is several kilo ohms. So we're good. Let's power it on. We have no power good. Do we have 1.8 volt coming out? No, we do not. Okay, so now we need to figure out how to bring this chip to life. Maybe we can try to inject a 1.8 volt and see what will happen. So let's go ahead and do that. See, my little friend says 1.828. So we're good. Now, what am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to inject 1.8 volt into here. And then I will flip the switch and then I want to see somewhere around one amp maybe. No, nope. something is not working. So I continue to dig into the enables for 1.8 volt rail and this diode here. So we have 3.3 volt at this diode so the enable signal would be here and we do have 3.2 volt now is this correct yes so we have 3.3 volt and then that goes to reset now where does that go so we do not have this resistor i don't think we have this resistor so this resistor goes into here so which means we will have 3.3 volt here what about this and then here here and then that goes into pex reset which goes into the pci express slot so we can 
probably check and see and I can check that we should have output on this um, U gate and we do so but we still don't have anything else right look we don't so only 5 volt here and 5 volt there 3.3 we're still missing 1.8 volt basically so let's power it down on this resistor there should be 3.3 volt do i have 3. Point? yes and then on the other end 3.3 volt okay so this resistor is good now let's go over to here so there is another resistor what do you do where do you go goes here and then it goes to the ground so some kind of a ground resistor so what is this resistor here let's see what is this here what is this is it here i think so but we do not have any of those resistors there yeah none of them okay so we don't need to look over there let's look over at a different place this um 1.8 volt still refuses to work and so what I, I don't know that the data sheet for this controller i think it's a buck converter um i have the identical card that i've already fixed in my northridge fix video here it is and what i'll do is i will remove that controller the back converter and i will put it on this board and see if we get 1.8 volt and if we do then then i will order a replacement because otherwise that replacement is not cheap it comes from china it will take a month and also well also amg sucks because they put controllers on there that have no data sheets available and they do this a lot making the repairs very difficult so if you're like me and you agree that the repairs should not be so difficult then maybe we can fight against the monopoly of corporations and join the club of Lewis Rossman or Rossman group so that we can all fight these bastards okay here's a working GPU okay now let's check make sure we don't have any shorts after soldering this new chip i think we okay no short on the input power good and the other two pins so maybe we can power this on and see if it works okay let's see hopefully it will work but i don't know let's see yes it works how do i know it works very simple so we we come we come over here and we check for five volt so we have five volt right there then I think we should have 1.8 in here, yes. Then 0 0.75, correct. VDDCI, VDDC, 
I think, or the other way around. So SOC and the GFX and uh, secondary or the primary or the display five volt rather. I don't know exactly which. I think this will be a display five volt because it's close to the HDMI connectors or maybe it's feeding the the DMOSs here i don't know i think we have a fix so i will go ahead and i will order actually no well you know what let's plug it in and see if we get a picture and if we get a picture uh, well i will have to order this part uh, right away because um, that was the issue so where is my hdmi cable here if my hdmi cable the heat sink and let's power the card and see if it will give us a picture i th i think it will or you maybe not because we still have a lot of problems on the back with the data connections so we may not get a picture from it until we fix that. Yeah, we do not get a picture. So why do we not get a picture? Let's try. Let's let's try maybe um, display port. We'll try display port. Maybe we get a picture from display port. uh no we're not getting a picture okay so what i can do right now is i can run a memory test and, uh, maybe we have a memory problem hopefully we don't okay i'm going to run 6700 because i don't have Why does it say press any key to go to the menu? Oh, hello. Let's see. Let's go back. Let's press Q. And let's see if we can detect. Oh, okay. So we, we the GPU is actually no detect. Okay, so that's good to know. Okay. So let's see if the if the BIOS is actually working. So I'm going to check pin number two and boot the card. So a little bit of signals there, but that's it. Let's see what are we going to get on a pin number five now that doesn't look right i don't think this bios chip is working i i don't know let's compare it well we can't really compare it because we don't have the part that we need so what i'll do let me turn this off. Yes. So what I'll do is I will remove this chip and um, see if I can flash it and uh, reflash it. okay so the bios flashed but we got the same thing so yeah i don't think bios matter not right now anyway and the bios is powered but somehow it does not work and i am running out of options i don't know maybe the uh, we can look at the uh, oscillator the crystal the oscillator the crystal 
that generates the frequency at which the core and the motherboard communicate with each other. I think we're getting 96, a very unclear signal, but it's giving me like 99, almost 100 megahertz, which I don't know if this is normal or not. I don't think this, it might be normal for AMD. AMDs are weird. So what I'm doing right now is I put that 1.8 volt LDO back on the working card so that I can see how does the BIOS behave as well as how does the oscillator or the frequency generator works when it's working properly. So let's check. Do we check this pin or do we check these pins here? No, no power. Perfect. We should have power now. Let's try one more time. And let's see. Default. That's a 3.3 .3 volt. What about this pin here? Okay, I see now. So it looks like we're getting 100 megahertz. Okay, so it looks like the megahertz thing is correct. Okay, now, so we have 100 megahertz on, on this board here, right? Which is good, which means that the megahertz produces the hertz. So we will continue experimenting and let's look at how the BIOS is responding to a working GPU. We're going to unplug that HDMI cable so we don't switch display and we're going to put the probe on the first, on the second pin of the BIOS chip and we get hello from the computer, right? Yeah, I see. So we got there. Now let's power off and put the probe on the pin number five. And then the BIOS chip responds to the, yes. And the BIOS chip is responding to this, uh, to the motherboard because they are now connected. Okay, so that's good. Let me turn that off. Okay, so that's good. We know that this, so this is a, this is how a working graphics card would behave. So now take that 1.8 volt converter or LDO linear, linear dropout voltage regulator, what this thing is, and I will put it back on this board guys i'm an idiot you know what i forgot of all the times i've been testing this gpu i forgot to plug in the riser into the motherboard so let's plug in the riser into the motherboard and the reason why i was confused is because the riser powers by 12 volt coming from here not from here this part is plugged in into the motherboard so I was very confused. Uh, it's time for me to stop being an idiot. And I will take that 1.8 volt converter or LDO linear, linear dropout voltage regulator, what this thing is. And I will put it back on this board that we are working on today. Uh, so I will I will do the swap and then we're gonna try it again. Oh, well, let's try again, eh? Maybe we get a picture from this card. Maybe all it was is a disconnected cable from the motherboard and everything actually works. We're, we're gonna find out in just a second. 
there we go all right power on come on oh perfect perfect so let's power off and we still need to we still need to address the problem problems that we have on the back of the board with those capacitors Okay, so the problem we have with this graphics card is that it only works at 490 megahertz, which is not good because it does not operate at 100% of its capacity. Okay, so I connected the dongle to the graphics card and now we can monitor we can monitor the tower and if there are any pro problems with um, with any of the phases here that we can monitor while running some kind of a load so i'm going to run the load um, let's see if we can run I'll run the valley and I'll monitor the temperatures, make sure that we do not overheat. Okay, so we're still 492 megahertz. And so in here, everything is looking good. Let me go ahead and run something a little bit heavier, like a four mark. So I tried everything I could think of. The controller did not report any errors. So I don't really know what to do at this point. Put the same BIOS back into the chip. So I flashed it with the original BIOS it came with, even though it's the same version that I found on Tech Power Up. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe tech power up has screwed, screwed up versions of bios files on their server i don't know uh, if this will work then that would be that would be proof that tech power up isn't um, very trustworthy server for um what do you call those things bios files and by the way if you guys are using this flux uh this solder 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 wire uh it's a piece of garbage do not use it throw it away so i just did throw it away so let's open up gpuz one more time let's let's look at the clock we don't need valley Let's look at the clock. And there we have it. <laughs> That's it. We have a fix. It was the BIOS that screwed up the clock. So it's, it's good, you know, and we all learn something, you know. I learned today that even though the bios version says the same it's it's not the same which is very unfortunate and i'm not really sure how how does tech power up let something like this slip by creating confusions and problems but at the very least the problem was not fatal so that's good that's very good. So what have we learned today? We learned that I am an idiot for two reasons. And the reason number one was that I forgot to plug 
the riser into the computer so the card was no detect and then long before that I flashed the BIOS because we had no that no not long before about the same time I think I flashed the BIOS thinking that we had the wrong BIOS so it was not detecting well, that turned out to be stupid because the riser wasn't plugged in. So hopefully you will not be making that same mistake and will not rush into flashing BIOS before you verify that you are at the very least connected to the motherboard with your riser. So that's it. GPU is working. Thank you for watching. Maybe you learned something today or maybe you didn't. I don't know. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more. And uh, we'll try to fix something else in the next video. Maybe it won't be as long and as dumb as this repair. Who knows? Goodbye.